All right, YouTube, YouTube world. So when I look around this yard, I think needs rear axle, needs front clip, needs oil change, needs torque boxes replaced, needs either pulley replaced. Do I got anything else? That's probably my best running vehicle right there is the quarter million mile TJ. I mean, it's insane, but also needs a few things, has an exhaust leak, etc. So I got a whole lot of that going on. But uh, today I'm going to try to get this in the garage. I need to get it up and get the axle out. I've actually bought another axle for it. I have to go pick it up tomorrow. Um, but I have got to get going on this. This is my power tour car, um, God willing. So uh, I haven't even looked anything over on this car yet. I don't know anything about it. I don't know anything about the motor. I don't know nothing. So I did drive it back from Chicago. Uh, I know it has a lot of quirks to it. Some things don't work. Some things uh, don't work right. Um, although it's a nice looking car, I just have a ton of stuff to do. So anyways, uh, I'm going to start working on that. I'm going to see if I can get somebody to come over and give me a hand pushing this thing. Well, hopefully this thing isn't that hard to push since I really didn't get anybody to come by and help me. So, uh, commence me struggling to push this car into the garage. So good idea? Probably not. It's worse than that. All right, just a quick look at this. That got hot. Uh, this uh, this needs a a double carding kit. This is not uh, I mean it's it's pretty stiff. 
So that needs uh, U joints and a double carding kit. I'm gonna need a new flange. Um, actually, these are even though they look newer, these aren't. These ones don't feel that great either, especially this way. So, so new U joints in that and a double carding ball kit. Um, that should be pretty dialed in. I'm gonna get this up and uh, start messing with it. Holy crap. Wow, look at that. Brand new brakes. Huh. Well, that's a good sign. Uh, so after a little bit of uh, contemplation, I think buying the used axle for 100 bucks is a good idea. It's got the flange, it's got the gears, it's got the stuff I need. I think I'll, I'll go ahead and yank this axle out. It's really only like six bolts and a brake line. Um, it's the shocks, upper and lower control arms. The sway bar is actually hooked to the uh, control arm, so that helps me out a lot. Um, and I'll just go ahead and get the brake line off, and I'll drop it down. I'll probably, probably pull the backing plates and leave those um, kind of hanging here um, if I can. Otherwise, I'll just connect the uh, e-brake cables. And uh, I'm probably going to end up reusing these backing plates because they're all new uh, springs and hardware pads and drums and everything so I hate to say it but things are kind of looking up um ah, we'll see how it goes I think it's all right. It's actually like looks good there's not much of it but what's in there looks pretty good <laughs> that was it now well, a little bit more <laughs> well that sucks <laughs> I have had problems with these before but we'll see sometimes they break I don't know that feels pretty good yeah, yeah, that's coming out. Where you at? Come here. Come here, you dark. Alright. So then those will come out with my foot. Alright. Alright, we're on track. Man, not like I wanted to blow my axle up, but man, this thing has been a dream to work on. Man, brake lines all came off perfect. Rear end came apart good. I didn't even think I would get this pulled tonight. I didn't even spray this one. Wow. Pretty crazy. Take a look at the back side of these axle shafts. I mean, that almost made me think they were new. It's kind of crazy. I don't know. All right, back to pulling. Well, aside from a few small little mishaps, axles out. Hopefully it goes back in as easy as uh, it came out. 
All right, so a couple things. While I was messing around with this, uh, this thing popped out of there. Um, and then there's a lot of damage in the housing, so that was probably not going to be any good. Also, it's a 308 gear, which I'll probably go to a 373 because I'm going to put a little bigger tire on it. Um, other than that, uh, I'll be working on the axle probably again tomorrow. Uh, I don't know if I'll get it back in, but I'll, uh, I'll certainly get some work done on it. I gotta move some cars around. It is a crazy windstorm right now. So I'm gonna move some cars around, get this closed up. Uh, pretty productive day. So we're looking pretty good. Well, we made it all the way to Blissfield. Um, I picked up my axle. Let's take a look. I don't even know if it'll work, but uh, it should, should work, I guess. Uh, I don't know anything about 7.5 axles. They got a brewery here. Um, we're taking a little pit stop. I'm gonna grab some drinks, grab some food, and move on. B Town. Say goodbye. How was that food? That's good. I thought it was killer. <laughs> Go ahead. That was pretty good. The wings were good. Hey, it's nice out now. It's not raining. It's not raining. All right, Power Tour people, Power Tour world. Today I'm going to be all about the Cougar, the Power Tour car. I have got to get the rear end out of the truck. Well, it's a little bit lighter. Fluid and axle shafts. Oh, come on. Come on, really?